So you just got your shiny new share funnel downloaded into your ClickFunnels account and you need to know what to do next. For this video, I'm going to show you the must do items that you have to take care of once you've downloaded this share funnel into your ClickFunnels account. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe to continue receiving great reviews. Uh, the first area I want to direct your attention to is this settings tab on the top right side. Now this settings tab is the settings for the entire funnel. That means that all of the pages in the funnel, these settings will apply. You go to the settings and what we'll, what we'll focus on is this top area right here. Um, these, this is a, a brand new share funnel that I just downloaded into my account. It's a bridge page funnel for the Funnel Hack Secrets um, affiliate program. So I'm going in to make changes before we actually make this funnel live. These are the areas that we need to change. The name, the domain, the SMT configuration, the path. Um, the group tag is when you start to accumulate multiple funnels inside of your account. When you tag them with a specific group, it makes it easy to find uh, particular funnels by just typing in the tag, the group name, and it brings up all the funnels under that group. So I name my uh, funnels, the mental marketer sales funnels. That's the group tag that I give it. Um, you'll also want to add a favicon. Now, a favicon is the um, icon that appears at the top of the tab when you're browsing. So, for instance, this click funnels uh, avatar right here, that's a little avatar little PNG file that is your favicon if you have a small PNG of your logo you can input the URL for it over here so it will show when someone visits any page inside of your funnel uh, it's not necessary but it does add a, a professional touch to it and I would definitely recommend putting it on your pages to give it a polished look but the must change areas are the name, the domain, and the configuration. So here we're gonna call this one the Funnel Hack Secrets Affiliate Bridge Page. And that's just what we'll call it. And we'll put this one on one of our domains that have been connected to ClickFunnels. And we'll also put the same SMTP configuration. Now there are separate videos that will explain to you how to connect the domain and also how to connect your SMTP configuration. And this path right here is the path of the entire funnel. I tend to keep this name something general. Um, funnel Hack Secrets Affiliate Bridge Page. This is not the URL where we will actually send the traffic or, or give to others as a as a part of the URL. Um, this is just for the funnel wide, the entire funnel. We'll name this one Funnel Hack Secrets Affiliate Bridge Page. Once we've uh, determined that name, we'll scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Save and Update Settings. Once that's finished, you'll see that the name of the complete funnel was changed up here, and that's the name of the entire funnel. Now, we want to go into the individual pages to make changes. Now, we're inside the only page that's in this funnel, which is the opt-in bridge page, the most uh, important place you'll want to go is to this publishing tab. In the publishing tab is where we will name the, the funnel step name and also the path. So we'll call this the, okay, we'll just call this one funnel hack 
secrets opt-in page. And we will also name the path the same. Funnel hack secrets opt-in page. Now what's different about this path, this will be a part of the URL. And let's update the funnel step. Now this takes us back to the uh, main page and we can see that our URL for this page has now been updated to our domain forward slash funnel hack secrets opt-in page and now this is the page that we will give out to for people to visit our funnel step this is the page I want to just note an area that is no longer used but I always change it as well and you hit this to this gear button right here this brings up the system this is no longer used However, I always make the changes in here just to keep uniformity on the entire page. And we've named this one the Funnel Hack Secrets opt-in page. And just update the page. Now, just keep in mind that has no bearing on the entire funnel, but I always make that adjustment to keep it uniform. And I also want to note that you can actually visit the funnel URL by clicking on this link up here, or you can copy that URL to your clipboard to give to others and they will be able to visit the website with that button right there. But let's go to the other most important steps. We'll hit edit page. This takes us inside the editor where we can view the page. Now, if if we've completed this sales funnel for you, we will connect all of the links. We will have all of the links set up for you and you shouldn't have to make any changes to any of the links. Um, everything should be set unless we have told you that um, something isn't connected, but you will have your videos connected. You will have the timer set for the correct amount of time. These buttons will open pop-ups as appropriate and the page will already be completed. But it is your responsibility to come into the settings to make sure the settings have been uh, adjusted. Sometimes when you share self uh, share funnels, sometimes the settings may go back to the original setting. So you want to click on the settings button at, button at the top, go to the general, and you'll want to check and make sure that everything is set right here um, on the submit, where should the page go? And also you wanna adjust the affiliate badge and the search engine. Now the affiliate badge is the little banner that goes at the bottom of the page that says made with ClickFunnels. If someone clicks that, banner and actually signs up for a ClickFunnels account, you can receive a commission for it. If you'd like for that to show, you're going to keep it at show, but if you wanted to hide it, you can hide it here. I typically hide it on pages that are not public or uh, public facing, such as um, second pages of funnels, sales pages, order pages. I will typically leave those showing for a landing page and something similar to that. Now this is for search engines. If you would like for the page to be indexed by search engines, you'll hit show. If you would not like, like it to be indexed in search engines, you'll put hide. And search engines will uh, crawl, the web, crawl the web for uh, pages to show on uh, search engine results pages. I typically, will show the first page of the funnel, but will hide the pages that are after um, after they've already opted in for an email address. Um, if you do show those pages, sometimes you can give others access to secured content, or you also may have people visiting the site that have not given you an email address. So I would recommend hiding those pages after the first one, but show the first page where um, you're asking them to input an email address.
but make sure those sec that section has been addressed. The next area in the settings that you'll want to change is the SEO metadata. Now, uh, we will typically change this, but you want to come in and make sure that it has not changed back. So this page, we'll just call this one the Funnel Hack Secrets Sign Up. Okay, and we'll just give a description on this page. You can sign up for the Funnel Hack Secrets uh, package. You'll enter any keywords that you'd like to, to rank for on Google. Uh, you can put your name as an author. And this here is a very important uh, social image. I love using social images. And I'll show you an example. I'm going to come in and just grab an image from my library to use as the social image. We'll use this affiliate marketing dream 100. So once you've selected that photo, it shows you an example of what it will look like when your page is entered as a preview on social channels. I'll show you an example of how this shows up on social. Let's go to my Facebook. Now I come to my uh, Facebook page and I'm going to enter a URL that I have a social image set up where I have a social image set up. And when I enter the URL, it shows that image that I have selected to show up as a preview. And this is also the, the words that I have selected in that top area so you can you can uh, control what shows up in a preview on social I love this because this gives you an opportunity to make that page look really attractive to click on and that is completed inside of this area right here so the SEO metadata, just make sure that you take advantage of this social image area and also a preview of what it would look like on Google. And you can see here, you see a funny hack secrets sign up as I change the words up here today and get it. You can see that in real time, it will adjust what it looks like on Google. Uh, your Google search review. Once you make those changes, you will definitely come back out, save the page. And those are the most important things to take care of in the funnel. We will connect everything else. So everything else will be ready to go. You'll just need to give out that link and start driving traffic to the page. But those are the most important and necessary steps to take once we've completed building your funnel and you've downloaded that funnel into your account. There are other areas of the funnel that are optional, but highly recommended such as tracking and pixels. Those options are covered in separate videos. But for this video, those are the most important steps you'll need to take to get your funnel up and out the door. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me for any questions that you might have. Have a great day.